What's up guys? Cool video today. Cool product at least. Video. We'll see. It may be cool. Probably not. This is the Wayward Supply Staff by the Wayward Trading Post, or by Wayward Trading Post is the company name. Uh, it's Justin Skaggs and his wife. They started this company. It's not a lacrosse video, but this thing is cool. It's uh, way more than meets the eye. So let's go. <laughs> First of all, just so you know, I'm not just talking about a hiking stick, right? This thing is so much more than that. This is a survival staff, and it is chock full of little secret surprises and fantastic ideas. Justin is a, you know, he's the kind of guy who is, he's a maker. He's always busy. Um, I have a feeling he just can't stand to sit around, and when he does, his mind is just going. And I know how that is. Um, obviously, I haven't made cool things like him, but I have a hard time sitting still. I'm always wanting to build and refine and customize things. Um, so I get it. And when he came to me with this idea or told me what he'd been making, he's like, you want to check it out? It's like, dude, absolutely. Love survival stuff. Just, you know, since I was a kid, I don't remember the year, 82, 83, the first Rambo movie came out, First Blood. Fantastic movie. Now, also a good book. Um, but the movie is just, it, it kind of changed my life, at least my early teenage years. Um, so John Rambo is a, you know, he's a Green Beret and he's a, he's a survivalist. He's, you know, he's, if you haven't seen the movie, definitely do so. But he's out in the woods being chased by the little town police and he just starts setting traps and the traps are just incredible. And so where I lived in Connecticut, we had woods for forever. So when I was young, I, after seeing First Blood, I would go out in the woods, you know, from... 7 a.m. To, to 7 p.m. in the summer and would set traps and I would try to recreate Rambo's traps. And there were some cool ones and there were some real deadly ones. And he had one that, you know, he pulled a sapling back and then it was more than just a sapling, but then it would, when it was sprung, um, the sapling with spikes in it would come out and just impale the guy. I used to make that one a lot without the spikes. And there, we, you know, I was always in the woods and if I would forget to disarm my traps, they would end up getting me like the next season or, you know, a month later. I wasn't the brightest kid, but so I really enjoyed survival stuff. All right. So let's talk about this thing. It is a Pennsylvania ash walking stick, right? That's what it is at its core. Uh, but it is like the Ferrari of walking sticks, if you will. I took it on a hike today, just like this. Didn't use any of the survival gear and it's a comfortable hiking stick. So I love that this is a little wider than this. This is a little too thin for me to be walking with, like I wouldn't want, you know, just like that. The paracord handle makes it real comfortable to walk with and it's it's a good height, It's everything's good. It's a gr real good walking stick. But if you're out in the wilderness, say you're out, you're out on a hike and something goes terribly wrong and you are not near your car and or phone uh, and you got to figure out how to survive. This is the kind of thing you should always have a survival kit, uh, a first aid kit. But if you don't, this is the kind of thing that, that could save your life and make living for the next few days until you're rescued until, or until you hoof it out of wherever you are easier. So I am going to do like a top down sort of unraveling of this so we can talk about what's inside. First thing we have is 40 feet of this yellow paracord, nice and bright. Uh, good for visibility, you know, you can obviously change the color paracord if you want, but, you know, a bright color, it's always good to have. Um, 40 feet is plenty. It's a good number. There are so many things you can do with paracord, um, and it's it's just an important thing to have in, in your own survival kit. If you don't have one, you know, that's a good place to start with some paracord. So once we unwrap the paracord, we we see what's what's lurking inside, and it's good, but also incredibly useful and well thought out. They had to maximize functionality with also always keeping in mind space. I think they did an incredible job of curating uh, survival tools and aids in this product. So once we unwrap the paracord, here's what's inside. There are, there's uh, two feet of duct tape, which, you know, duct tape, you can't go wrong with duct tape. You know, duct tape's beautiful because 
you know, to to fix things, to secure things. You don't need a lot of it. So you tear off little sections at a time and, and it will do the trick. And this, this is probably the coolest thing in here. It's a full tang, three inch blade field knife. And the, the nice thing about that, obviously all the things you would use a field knife for, you know, if you're out on a, on a scheduled hike or whatever, you, you'll probably have your own knife. Uh, but if you don't, and you're just out hoofing it, then you know it's it's a it's an incredibly useful thing to have. If you already do have a field knife, you can uh, use the paracord to um, attach the knife to the to the walking stick with the holes and the paracord, and you know you've got a you've got a spear. Now, then you have two fishing hooks with fishing line, which you know if you're in a situation where you are you've now been out long enough to need food. You know, that's a problem. That is, that is too long. But man, you do not want to be caught out there without a way to feed yourself. Uh, but as we all know, you can go a lot longer without food than you can water. So they've also included water purification tablets, which is such a good idea. Uh, you know, you ideally you would have some sort of um, filtration pump or some way to, to heat your water, like a pot that you could boil your water. That's not always going to be uh, available to you. So Purification tablets will do the trick. You just, um, you never want to drink water without treating it, somehow boiling it or using something like this. Water is vital. I love the inclusion of those. Then we have a three by six foot mylar blanket. Very good at, at holding in heat. You know, if someone's hypothermic, you wrap them one of these in the sun and, and they're gonna heat, they're gonna warm up. Obviously it's not the coziest blanket, but that's not really what it's meant for. It's meant for getting your body temperature back to normal. Very good inclusion. And then we have four waterproof matches. Waterproof matches are really important out in the bush because it's difficult to start fire. Um, and if you've got some, some moisture, it's incredibly difficult. So those are good. There's four in here, but what's nice is that they also included a, um, a stick of flint. I would suggest using that first when starting a fire just to save the matches. And having two options. You know, fire is like water. It's so absolutely vital. And often without fire, you're not going to get water. So it's nice that they have two options for fire in there. You got two alcohol wipes for a little first aid and one gauze pad, important. Got to dress the wounds, got to keep them clean. There's also a four by eight inch plastic bag. Uh, anything you need to keep dry, throw it in there. Then there's this little socket here covered by this uh, piece of, I'm not sure what it is, plastic. And you can put your medications in there. When you're injured, say you sprain an ankle, you know, swelling hurts, swelling prevents you from moving. If it's, if it's in a lower extremity, you got to get that swelling down. So. So some kind of anti-inflammatory in there would be a good idea. Or if you have medication that you need in order to survive, uh, yes, you'll obviously have it with you to be safe. It'd be good to have some backup in there. I think that's a, that's a really good feature, very well thought out. On top, you've got a female camera mount and they include in this little baggie here, this little male-to-male -male mount and you just screw it in there, screw it in your camera and you've got a monopod. Which anybody who's ever taken pictures, especially with any kind of longer lens, uh, you know, it's really, camera shake is miserable. So if you're out and you're wanting to take pictures, but I know personally, I love bringing my camera out, but I hate lugging all the equipment. I've got a walking stick with all this and I can use it as a monopod. That's fantastic, I love that. So this thing is just filled with good ideas. Uh, it's just so impressive. You know, I, I think what a fun project. To, he and his wife sitting around thinking, okay, you know, whiteboard or piece of paper, just like starting to jot down what we want to add, what we want to put in this thing. And uh, they landed on, uh, there's nothing I would change in what they put in here. I think it's just really well thought out. Um, you know, obviously you buy something like this, the hope is that you never have to open it. You know, ideally it looks like this forever. If you do find yourself in a situation where you need the things in here, uh, you open it up. I think when you buy it for $99, um, plus $20 if you want it engraved, and you are in a situation where you have to open it up, you need the stuff inside in order to survive or to help you do whatever, I think if you send it back to them, pay shipping, they will resupply it and send it back to you uh, one time for free, which is very cool. Now, I can't imagine that you'd ever have to open this twice, um, you know, but although maybe you live a different life than I do and you're just hardcore and you're just full send all the time out when you're hiking and you're like, oh, here we go again. I gotta, 
I need a spear. There's a wild boar coming, or <laughs> hunting me. I'm trapped in this tree. If you pay attention when you're taking it apart, maybe you can put it back together yourself. Uh, maybe you could resupply it with the things that they've included or change it up a little bit. But the fact that they will do it for you also, um, and I think it says on the website they'll do it one time for free. Uh, you know, you pay for shipping. Um, you know, that's, that's great because it, a one and done kind of thing is sort of a bummer, but not really if it saves your life, you know? <laughs> it seems pretty simple to me. It's such a cool idea. And I don't know, you know, I don't know what their, their output is like, if they can handle a big Christmas rush, but if you've got any kind of outdoorsy person in your life, um, this is a cool gift. Very, very cool product, guys. Go check out waywardtradingpost.com. Take a look at it. Watch Justin's video. Uh, it's a real well-produced video. Tell you all about it. Incredibly cool product. All right, guys, I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. You know, if I can't answer them, I'm sure Justin will jump in and answer questions. Uh, go, go check out Wayward Supply Post. In The link is in the description. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.